Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss formula mass. Today's essential question, what is formula mass and how is it calculated? Please make sure you fully and completely answer the essential question in your summary of today's notes. Um, also, make sure that you have both your calculator and your periodic tables handy. Okay, let's start with a quick review of atomic mass. Atoms of different elements have different masses, and this is because a mass of a single atom is the number of protons and, or plus, the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Average atomic mass is what we find on the periodic table, and it is a calculated average mass of an element. And the unit used for atomic mass is the atomic mass unit, or AMU. All right, the new stuff, formula mass. Formula mass is the mass of a molecule, a single molecule, or a single compound. And if we go back to a quick review of formulas, a formula describes what atoms and how many of each atom make up a molecular compound. All right, so then how do you calculate formula mass? Really, really easy. You simply add up the atomic masses, which is the average atomic mass found on the periodic table, of each, of each and every atom present in the molecular compound. That's really all there is to it. Okay, well, let's try to calculate a formula mass. So let's start with the problem. What is the formula mass of CaNO3 or calcium nitrate? So the first thing we want to do is figure out what kind of atoms calcium nitrate is made up of. Well, it's made up of a calcium and two nitrates. And the nitrate is actually made up of one nitrogen and three oxygens. And we have two nitrates, which means we have two nitrogens and six oxygens. So an easier way to figure out how many nitrogens and oxygens we have um, is to say that the number outside the, the parentheses distributes. So we would end up with N2O6. Now this does not work for writing formulas, but it does work when we're trying to figure out formula mass. Okay, so now let's make a list of all of our atoms. So we have a calcium. We decided we had two nitrogens and six oxygens. So now let's go to the periodic table and figure out the average atomic mass of each of those atoms. So calcium is 40.08 AMU. Nitrogen, 14.01 AMU. And we have two of those. Um, and oxygen is 16.00 AMU. And we have six of those. Okay, this is getting tedious. And now we just add all of the average atomic masses up. And let's make a little room over here. I got on my calculator 164.1 AMU. So now we need to think about sig figs. And because we're adding we don't actually look at sig figs, right? We look at number of places after the decimal. And each of our numbers has two places after the decimal. And I only have one in my answer, so I can add a zero placeholder with my final answer being 164.10 AMU. So the formula mass of calcium nitrate is 164.10 AMU. 
Okay, let's try one more. What is the formula mass of NH4, 3, PO4, or ammonium phosphate? Um, if you would, please try this on your own. So hit pause, calculate, see how you did, and then hit play. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out how much of each atom I have, keeping in mind that this 3 distributes. So if I rewrite this, this would be N 3H 12, because 3 times 4 is 12, PO4. So when I go to list my atoms, I will have 3 nitrogens. Oh, goodness, 12... hydrogens, and one phosphorus, and four oxygens. Okay, so the mass for nitrogen is 14.01 AMU. And of hydrogen, it is 1.01 .01 AMU. Phosphorus is 30 point, uh, let me make some room here, 30.97 AMU. And our oxygens are 16. I wrote that incorrectly. Let's try that again. 16.00 AMU. And again, 16.00 AMU. Okay, so let's add this all up and see what the average atomic mass for uh, ammonium phosphate is. And I got 149. Point, hmm, 149.12 AMU. And again, we need to, because we're adding, we need to look at the numbers after the decimal. And for nitrogen, it's two sig figs. Hydrogen, no, two digits after the decimal. Hydrogen, two digits after the decimal. Phosphorus, two digits after the decimal. And oxygen, two digits after the decimal. Which means my answer needs to have two digits after the decimal, which it does. So final answer the formula mass of ammonium phosphate is 149.12 AMU. There you go. That's it for today.